Hi, I'm Marina Cortese, registered holistic nutritionist and owner of Nourish, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own lip balm. Now, a lot of the cosmetic industry is um, under fire for having um, products tested on animals, parabens, um, phthalates, other unnecessary ingredients in uh, our health, or sorry, our skincare. Um, so it's nice to make it at home and have complete control of your ingredients. We're going to make it with only three ingredients, uh, nice and simple. So the first, I've grated some beeswax here. I've done equal parts of all of all three ingredients, so you can do one tablespoon. Depends on how many uh, people you're making lip balm, lip balm for. So one tablespoon of grated beeswax, one tablespoon of almond oil. This is really moisturizing and nourishing. And then one tablespoon of cocoa butter. So if anyone's ever used cocoa butter as a, a moisturizer on their skin, this again will give your lips a nice, uh, a nice gloss and, uh, and added moisture. So I'm just gonna add these to our double boiler. If you don't have a traditional double boiler, you can just take a pot and a stainless steel mixing bowl, add some water into the bottom, and you've got yourself a double boiler. And then we're gonna take this all over to the stove and bring it to a low boil and let everything melt together. So as everything's melting together, you wanna to make sure that it never comes to a boil. The water beneath it is just gently warming up the bowl, which is letting everything melt together. All right, so our cocoa butter, beeswax, and almond oil have melted together. We've, uh, I've turned off the heat and we're gonna pour them into the uh, lip balm containers. You can use little tubes that you can get at a craft store or um, these ones that you can use your finger with. So careful, your bowl is hot and we're gonna pour them in. So I filled up my containers. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a little bit to speed up the chilling process and then we'll check back on them in a few minutes. All right, so you can tell that the lip balms have now set. They've changed colors from a brighter gold to now more of the lip balmy color. Uh, throw on some lids, wrap them up for a gift, stash them in your purse, your gym bag, and uh, you've got a great natural lip balm. It's nice and moisturizing and nourishing. Enjoy.